Well, hello everybody and good afternoon. So, I'm Victoria and I've come from Prince Fisher Vets to talk to you about looking after pets. And I've got Mrs. Blackburn here and this is her dog B. And that's Erica over there. So, okay. So, let's start by who here has animals at home? Has anyone here got any pets at home? Yeah? Well, let's see if we can find out. Right, well, let's see. Put your hands up if you have a dog at home. I've got a kitten. Well, come that one next time. I've got a kitten. Just put your hand up if she's got a You've got dogs? Say you've got dogs at home? Right, has anyone got any cats or kittens? Kittens. Put your hand Kittens. Fab. A dog. A dog. Brilliant. How about a rabbit? Has anyone got any bunny rabbits at home? No. Yeah. Yeah. I got a toy one. I got a toy one. I got Fab. A one. What's on your face that the doctor might need to check to make sure it looks okay? What can you think? Mm. Mm. What are they? What are you fighting to? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, eyes. Eyes. Say it now, just look in here. The dog's eyes, that's right. Well done. So B has her two eyes. So we would look at them and we'd make sure that they weren't closed, that they weren't red and weren't that sore. That that's right. So B's got lovely, healthy eyes. Can anyone think of anything else on the doggy's face? Uh huh? Okay, what's on the dog's face? We might need to check. Cheek. Her cheeks? Yeah, we would have a look at her cheeks. And what's inside her cheeks? What's this? This is your cheek, and then what's this here? Your mouth. Your mouth and your teeth, that's right. So we can see B's teeth there, don't we? So we need to have a little look, and we'll check the doggy's teeth and check it all looked okay in there. Right now, who here brushed their teeth this morning? Put your hands up. Everyone brush their teeth this morning? I did. Yeah. I, did. I yeah. hope so. Yes, you have to brush them. Now, this here is beautiful white, pearly white teeth. Now, this doggies brush their teeth every day. Now, if you didn't brush your teeth, or if you didn't brush the doggies' teeth, what do you think would happen? They wouldn't look very nice. They'd have so red gums, their teeth would all be dirty and they would start falling out. And that's what happened to our teeth if we didn't brush them. That's why we have to look after them. And that would happen to the doggies and cats. We have to look after their teeth. So, Bee's got lovely <coughs> She knows what a toothbrush is for. Brushing our teeth. Brushing our teeth. And there we go. So <laughs> Bee can brush her teeth, can't she? She needs help from her mammy. But B knows what a toothbrush is for. Well done. Brilliant. So anything else on your face? What are you using now to listen to me? Yeah. Well done. Yeah, the dog's ears. So, now B's ears are a bit different to ours. They flop down, don't they? So we need to lift it up and have a look in her ear. Good girl. And make sure it looks clean and not red and not sore. And sometimes we might use our nose to give it a smell to make sure we can't smell anything bad in there. So check her ears. Now, there's one more thing on her face that I don't think we've mentioned. What do you think it might be? So we've checked her ears, we've checked her eyes, checked her mouth. What have we not checked? What do you think? A head. Well, her head's one of them, that's right. We'll oh. come to that one in a second. You keep yeah. remembering it, it's okay? In the of our oh. Nose, well done. That's it, so we check her nose. So we'll make sure that she's got no discharge and nothing there that would cause us worry. And then we would check her head. Now, do you know what's inside her head we might need to check? Begins with a B. What do you think? Mine's the X. Yeah, and do you know what's inside your head that you need to check? It's a hard one. Your brain. It's my brain in my head. Your brain's in your head, that's right. So my head. Yeah, in your head too. It's in all our heads. So we would maybe check her brain <coughs> and by that we might just need to ask your mommy some questions and make sure that's all we, working we fine. Brilliant. So, can you think of anything else on the doggy you way you might need to check? Think of what's in her chest, maybe. Have I got this? 
Would this give you some ideas? Does anyone know what this funny thing is? You maybe have it had it in your bag. You listen to the chest? Brilliant, well done. This is called a stethoscope. And we have to listen to the chest. Now inside her chest, B's chest, and our chest, we have our heart. Um, I have my Yep, heart. you have your heart, that's right. And then we have our lungs that I, help us breathe. I'm throwing down a baby head and falling belly. Oh, Dogs I know. the ambulance. Right. So oh, they would have a stethoscope, Dolly. So we listen to the doggy's heart and lungs with this. Would you all like to have a little listen to B's heart? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we'll do is, is, it's not very long, so you have to come in very close to have a listen. And she might give you a little kiss, so don't mm -hmm. mind me. That's the worst that she'll do is try and lick you. <coughs> and you might hear a, a sounds like a drum beating, and that's her heart beating. And you might hear something that sounds like the waves on the beach, and that would be her lung breathing. Because if she's panting a little bit, you might hear that. So if I find it, and then if maybe your teachers send you up, in a line one by one is enough and have a little listen. But have to not be too noisy when you're sat waiting or the person listening might not hear it okay. No, no, have a little listen to things hard. Alright, if you kneel down it might be easier. She won't hurt you. <laughs> Turn your head round so I can see. That's it, good lad. so big for your ears aren't they? Fingers, that's right. And now I'm moving this one here. Does anyone know what this is called? Wrist. Well done, that's right. Now this one here we're moving. Elbow, well done. And what about this one here? Shoulder. Shoulder, well how clever are you? Right, so now can you balance on one leg? Can you? Oh. Right, what's inside your shoe that I'm wiggling that you can't see? So they're not like fingers, but they're on the end of your feet. What's on the end of your feet? Toes. Toes, I heard it over here. Yeah, your toes. And then you have something here, this joint here, what moves your foot. Do you know what that's called? Your ankle, that's right, well done. I right. And then these ones here? Come knees here. and what about these ones here? Your hands on your Yeah, there's yeah. your waist, but your hips, that's right. Well yeah. done. Fabulous. So let's see if B has the same type of bone. Let's see. So this is what they look like. We can sit back down now if it's easier so then everyone can see. So, oh, so this is a doggy foot. Oh, and the same as a cat as well. So we have a foot with the toes, and that's what bees look like here. So bees foot, and then bees ankle, or oh, wrist for carpus in the front one, ankles on the back one. This is the back leg. I got both. And then, so we put our hands on our on the front here. What these? Knee. So this is what a dog's knee would look like. So B's got her knee here. And then we said we put our hands on our knee. hips after knee. our knee. And this is the dog's hip. Now this one here is called the pelvis. Now we have a pelvis. But ours is slightly different to an animal. We stand up tall like that. And then our hips come down like that. But in the doggy, <coughs> it's that way. So that's the slight difference. So she has her front legs like our arms and her toes and her wrist, her elbow and her shoulder all the way up here. And then her back leg as we showed with the model. So the dog bones are just like ours. So we would have to check and make sure they weren't sore and that they could run around and weren't limping. So that's a good one. Alright, a few more things we would need to check. <coughs> what do you think? You all had your dinner. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I did. And when you eat your dinner, where do you think it goes? In the face. When you eat it, it goes in your mouth and <laughs> down <laughs> into your <laughs> tummy. 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 That's right. So does the dog have a tummy to check? Yeah. yeah. So we would feel the dog's tummy 
So we'll have a feel and make sure that it was not so and that she yeah. likes us touching it. So we'll check her tummy to see where her dinner goes. Fabulous. So we're lucky bees nice and healthy. But sometimes the animals get foodie and we have to make it better now. If you fell over and scratched your leg or scratched your arm, what would we need to do? If it was bleeding, what do you think we might need to do? Put in Right. Think we could just put a plaster on B and do you think it would stick? If we put a plaster on B, do you think it would stick with all her coats or do you think it would fall off? It would fall off, that's right. So we have to put special petty bandage on the judges so that it stays off. So should we put a bandage on B's leg? <coughs> Sorry, the bandage we have to use on the judges too. They're just cutting our phones. <laughs> I'll just do a makeshift one. We put something soft on and then we will put the bandage round and then we put this one on to stick it all together. <coughs> and we'd like to go for the yellow one. <laughs> the namesake, you know, it's like a colour of a bumblebee with a bean coat. It's a bumblebee. Well, what, do you know what <laughs> colour a bumblebee is? Yellow car. Yellow and black. And bees called bee. So, with her being black, and then we put a yellow bandage on. <laughs> She's striking like a bumblebee now. It's a bumblebee and robot. Right, fabulous. Good girl. So, she, that's the type of dressing we put on the doggy if they had a bad leg. Right, so. There's one more thing I think we need to check. What's on top of our head? Hair. hair. Now the doggy has hair everywhere, doesn't she? So we need to check the dog's hair and we would make sure that she's got nothing in it that was making her itchy or scratchy or anything like that. And we have some strange looking bits here. <laughs> so it looks like a spider, doesn't it? It's a bit scary. And you, you had a spider at the front of the school when we came in, didn't we? We saw the spider on the display. It was scary. So this is what we call a tick. And these are what our dogs and cats are in to get if they've been in the woods and around the sheep and things like that. And they bite them and fill up with blood. And that's when they get all big and yak like this. So we have to make sure that they've got no ticks or anything like that. And then this one, this scary one, anyone know what this might be? An it looks a bit like an ant, doesn't it? We call it a flea. Anyone heard of fleas with our pet? And th have you in here? Well, we don't like these ticks and fleas. They make our animals coolly and they make them itchy and scratchy and they can bite them and they can even bite us nasty fleas. So we have to make sure we give them little spot on the treatment to make them healthy so they don't get things like this. This is a very, very big version. So <laughs> one tiny, 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 you can't really see them. This is a big one. So they do look scary with all those old, old legs. Right, so we're lucky to say be nice and healthy, but sometimes if they're coolie we have to do x-rays and have to do operations on them. So I need two volunteers who wouldn't mind getting dressed up so I let your teachers pick.
So that's an elbow on the x-ray, so we can't see what the doggy bones look like, can we? So we have to do special pictures for x-rays so that we can see them. Right, so think of your legs, this is the dog's back leg, and this one at the top here, <coughs> have a think and what was... So let me think of your leg, it wasn't your hip, Go a bit further down, what's the next joint? What's this one? The knee, that's right, so that's the dog's knee. And then if you put roll your hand down your leg, and what else do you get to after that? Above your foot? <coughs> your ankle. And that's an ankle on the x-ray, so they look different, don't they? Let's see. So what about this one? What do you think this is? Toes, that's right, that's the dog's foot. That's right, well done. Now this one's probably the hardest one. Looks a bit strange. What do you think that might be? A belly? No, not quite. That's how I think. So if you have a look here, what, what these might be? Teeth. So that's the, that's the teeth. So what do you think? This is a picture of the dog's <coughs> face, that's it, the dog's head. With its yeah. teeth, it just looks strange, doesn't it? It doesn't look like bee, does it? No? Yeah. yeah, so it's not bee, but that's what bee would look like if we took a picture inside her, her skin of her head. Brilliant. Well done. Well,